Hello guys, today I'm gonna show you how to install Ubuntu 41.10 uh, on a uh, virtual box. Uh, this releases the uh, Utopic Unicorn, which was uh, uh, not released, but Ubuntu is releasing the daily images, CD images on its official website. So, there are not any particular release notes, but uh, let's see what we get after installing the 14.10 version so first of all I will create a new virtual machine here I will name it as Ubuntu 14.10 64 bit so I named it like this I will set the ba base memory as uh, 8000 MB and create a new virtual hard disk select next next uh, I will allocate this as uh, 30 GB or maybe 40 GB for now. Now I have created the new virtual machine. Let me increase, increase its CPU cores here. Uh, okay. And for the display, I will give it a uh, 100 MB of video memory. So I have uh, set it up. And now I have to select the ISO file which I just downloaded. Uh, I downloaded the 64 bit version. You can download uh, a 32 bit version also. It is around 900 MB as you can see. So, okay, I'll start the with I'll, I'll start the ISO. Well, I am actually recording this at the middle of the night in India. It's 3:43 a.m. here and I'm kind of feeling a very sleepy at the moment but still I'm doing it for you guys so Ubuntu said, said that they will release uh, the daily builds of Ubuntu 14.10 uh, these are still in alpha stage so don't expect much ok so we get the boot screen here like this and uh, let's see the installation ok now I will continue I don't want to install updates as it will take a lot of time to install it is just kind of install you want to yes ok install now now you just have to sit back and relax and wait for the installation to be completed up and uh, I will be right back when the installation gets completed Continue. Continue. Okay, I will give it a name. Okay, I will now continue. Well, it's actually not 14.10, it is just an update to 14.04. And uh, I need to see the release notes first of all. I'll just go to here and I'll see the release note. see we have just finished copying the files and uh, let's wait for the installation to be completed I'll be right back when the installation is completed up and then I'll reboot the system. Ok 
okay the setup is, is just now completed up and uh, we have to reboot the system let's see what we get when we reboot the system uh, I just saw the screenshots of Ubuntu 14.10 and uh, the UI was quite same but the launcher was different the icons were different and uh, there were not a lot of changes but still uh, let's take a look once we get booted up with the OS we just installed Ubuntu 14.10 so I'm gonna reboot the system now ok now I have to press the enter key let's see what we get in the OS itself Okay, so we get a new boot screen here. Okay, it was quick. Okay. Let's quickly log in into my account and see what new is there. Let's taking a lot of time. I don't know why. I've given it, uh, given it a lot of memory okay so here we are booted up with the OS and uh, we're gonna take a look at the system settings and check the software version and see if there are any updates or not in details okay so we get the Ubuntu 14.10 here I will do the review in the next video do check out my next video for the review and uh, if you like my videos you do subscribe my channel if you um, want more of them like my videos and do give a thumbs up thanks for watching